Yeah, I actually did it. In my last video, I was playing with my team, which was supposed to be my last team for the World Championships. As you heard, only thing that could change that. Dude, a good Matthews card is the only way EA can, can get me to spend money. Of course, there is a Matthews with 99 pesos, who's fast, though. So we loaded up with some NHL points to try to get him. So I opened some expensive packs, 82 overall ultimate packs. We had choice packs and my pack luck was pretty horrendous. Here's my best pulls. <laughs> they li they really they really did it to me. Oh Jesus, what a troll this was. Then I got a stadium series Truba. Another purple 86 here it goes. All right, but we're getting purples now and a couple 85s. A lot better than before at least. Another purple 89 Markstrom. All right. All right. 82 overall ultimate, huh? This was kind of fire. Horrible pack opening, but I did get enough to make that Matthews. I'm probably even more on top of that. I needed somebody in my team to go to place Matthews in, and Alex Ovechkin was the player. It's time for Ovi to go. We had a good run. He was in my team for 583 games, so that's all my hot games I've played this year online. But he's now dropped to my fourth. I don't use Code One T on him anymore, and without Code One T with his speed, he's pretty useless. Then I obviously needed a lot of power up collectibles, so I spent all of my extra players to this power up sets. That means 88 Lemia, 93 highs. <laughs> They're gone. Hey, goodbye. <laughs> Hey, this is content. I know that's insane, but you guys need to remember all I care about is the World Championships. The final World Championship qualifiers are this weekend. The final qualifiers where I play with my own team. So if Heiss and that Icon Lemio will not fit my team, they're untradeable cards. I'd rather have the power up collectibles so I can do that Matthews and maybe some other cards. I don't care to have the best team in the game in two months, right? But if you want to have that, then obviously what I did is stupid. I also got really lucky. I pulled a 90 code to from an untradeable players pack? Oh! What? <laughs> Hello! And then I noticed, on top of Matthews, I could build another player. And I had my eye on Nikita Kucherov. He looks incredible. I've always liked him in NHL, so I decided to do him. He has Make It Snappy, which I absolutely love. Best shooting ability in the game, if you think about the price to quality ratio. Elliot Edges is also nice. So here's my new team. I didn't have enough power-ups to get Kutcher to the maximum, but at first I was trying him in the second line. Matthews obviously in the first. The rest of the team is the same. Then I went to Rivals to test out my new additions. First game for Matthews and Kutcher. Oh my god. <gasps> McKinnon. Nice. Nathan McKinnon. Let me Keep the puck moving. Makar behind the net. Nice. Nice. Oi, 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 oi. Fantastic. New second line. Matthews. Matthews. There he is. There's the main man. 1-0. Oh. <laughs> Dude. I get shivers when I score with Matthews. It's just so nice to play with your favorite player, man. Nice, Matthews. Two-way Matthews. Love to see it. So in the beginning when I started playing, I was having a bit of troubles. Obviously, I tried uh, tried to play with Matthews and Kucherov a lot. But especially my first line with McKinnon, Matthews and McDavid wasn't working the way I was... I maybe wanted to. I still got some goals off, especially Matthews. I felt like every time he got a chance, he scored. But something about my first line was a bit off. I didn't really feel like the chemistry was quite there. And from my first four rivals games with my new team, I lost two of them. This was a complete disaster. I basically spent money to improve my team and it's not working at all. It's doing the opposite effect. So I needed to do some line changes. Well, I took that. <laughs> Yeah, I need to change my line combos up. I've lost... I'm 2-1-2 two two today with my new team. I placed Lemio back in the first line with McKinnon and McDavid, because as you saw from the last two chaps, this line actually works. I also put Nash instead of Kucherov in the second line, and put Eichel in the second line. And after I made the changes, everything just clicked. All of a sudden, everything started to work, and I went on a massive 15-game rivals burst win streak. In Division 1, especially when it's burst, it's almost impossible to go on a win streak, so this really got my confidence up. Here's the best moment of that run. Also in the bottom left you can follow my skill rating. I was trying to get it over 2500. Nice. Connor McDavid. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey. Kucherov. He's had a couple scoring chances now. 
There we go. There's the culture of my mouth. Matthews. There we go. Come on. Okay, one good thing about Matthews has been every time he's been in the scoring chance, he has scored. Nice give and go. Look at that. Oi, oi, that's so nice. Nice. Wayne Gretzky. Nice. Great save, Markstrom. Markstrom has been good. I've liked him. Uh, let's. I trust Markstrom on those. Oi, oi, Connor McDavid with the snipe. Woo! Nice, Connor McDavid. What a snipe! Ike has been really strong on the wing. There we go, Jack Ike. Come on, coach, man. You need, you need to find the back of the net one day, man. <laughs> Kutcher. Nice, Nikita Kutcher. There we go. <laughs> Telling me to shut up. <laughs> oh my god, how did I allow that? Doesn't matter when we have a goalie like this. Kucherov, what a save! Kuch hasn't been the best. Oh no, Kucherov is my first shooter. Nice, there we go. <laughs> nice. Nice. Connor McDavid. Nice, come on. That's maybe the first, like, really bad goal Marstrom has allowed for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> this guy really wants to win, huh? And gave me another chance. Oi! <laughs> Mirror! Winning streak is alive! Come on, the winning streak continues. Rick Nash. Oh, he's playing good, dude. <laughs> Every opponent in Demon Rivals is so damn, so damn sweaty. <laughs> nice, Jack Icon. Come on! 2496. We're so close. What are these bumps? Where's my players? What? How did he get through my fing poke? Ah. sake man oh i want to throw something <laughs> i lost my win streak at 15 wins this was a massive confidence booster after grinding rivals it was time for hood champs rewards and even more team changes here we go our hood champions rewards 19 and 1 yeah. again for the fifth straight time so we're going to the deciding world championship qualifiers without getting a 20 i know in weeks but that's a small detail at the end of the day the most important thing is that we played good recently especially in rivals and i have a lot of different stuff for you so first of all let's do an axe factor player choice pack because crosby hughes ovechkin will not be in my gwc team and nick suzuki's axe factor would go all the way up to a 95 overall plus I'm lacking a bit in my right-handed players. So if I could get Suzuki, that would be awesome. I also just grinded this free 93 overall style icon. So we have a free 93 as well. So I'll open those two packs, the X-Factor pack and the style icon pack. And then I'll decide what to do with the whole champs collectibles. What? Wrong team. <laughs> Here's the team I've been playing rivals with. My first line is unbelievable together. Matthews has been a bit of a disappointment. His shot is unbelievable. He's great at scoring goals, but he's a bit stiff. He's not the most agile player out there, but he is pretty strong on the puck and great defensively, but I expected more out of him offensively. I just upgraded Kucherov to his maximum. I exchanged the 93 Barsal for power-up collectibles. I also exchanged the 90 Couturier. I got um, from the free pack. So yeah, I got Hughes to a maximum, Kucherov to a maximum. 
maximum. So yeah, excited to try Kutcher out as a 93. I've been only running his 91 and he hasn't been great as you saw in the highlights. Gerin is awesome, Kretzky is awesome, especially for the third line. And instead of Barsal, I'm playing Tevo Teravainen right now. I honestly think Tevo is better. Yeah, handedness doesn't totally fit, but I couldn't get anything going with Barsal. Defense is still the same. I like everybody except for McCabe. I think McCabe will be out of here. Oh, McCabe! 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 McCabe, you're the worst offensive player! I know! I honestly wanted to avoid all the roster BS, roster changes the week of the world champs, but you know, the Matthews came, more good players came. And even though Matthews isn't great, I will still get massive upgrades to the team. Like Barsal was in my second line last week, I didn't even like him. So yeah, we can we can make some other changes to the to the team as well. Alright, we didn't get um uh, didn't get Suzuki. Then we have the free 93 style icon. And I would really need a right-handed forward, but I already have Eichel. Caulfield and Kuzmenko are a bit small. They would be risky choices. Svesnikov would be the best option. 93 overall, he has beat boost, he gets to like 97 skating. He's tall. But dude, my left-handed wingers are stacked. I think I'll take a duplicate 93 just to get the most amount of power-ups as I can. And then those power-ups I could spend to whoever I want. Here we go. Here's the team. I made all-star Selan to my second line. <laughs> a lot. I really like Selan cards in NHLs. If you watched my streams, you know. But I was looking at right-handed forwards to do. I couldn't really find any better options than Selan stat-wise. And he has cold wheels and make it snappy, which are two of my favorite abilities right now. He gets to 98 speed. 99 reshot. I will give them a shot. If he's not good, I can just refund the collectibles. Probably then I'll just put Tevo back to the lineup. I still have Tevo, Tevo in my collection. So yeah, team looks offensively pretty amazing right now. Defensively, I made Morrissey instead of McCabe. I've heard a lot of good things about Morrissey and he's really fast. I think he's a good fit. Uh, with a bigger guy, Brent Burns here in the third. And 89 marks from internet. Let's go to the strategy scene. Here you see all my abilities as well on top of the strats. So in the last two champs, I changed everything to middle. It's been working for me. I changed back to all four lines behind the net. No more crash the net. But I've noticed even behind the net works with rebounds. If you just, you know, have the balls to throw it at the net. As you see, all my top nine wingers have silver make it snappy on. It's my favorite ability in the game right now for forwards. Silver make it snappy costs two points and I feel like... I score with it all the time. So that's a tip for you guys as well. Try make it snappy. All the other shooting abilities are so much more expensive. Defensively, everything middle as well. I'm running two shutdowns and silver stick them up on my defenders. So actually not a, not a lot of defensive abilities. Offensively, same strats as I've basically had. I'm a full attack now to aggressive. These were the strats I went on that rivals winning streak that you saw and I've been feeling pretty comfortable recently. I would like to say this is my final team for the world champs, final strats for the world champs, but as I learned from my last video, I don't want to say that anymore. <laughs> who, know, who knows what happens? Anyway, let me know what you think of my team. Thank you everybody for watching. Much appreciated. Next video you'll see is the most important games this year for me. The deciding world championship qualifiers to see if I qualify to the European Championships. Everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and see you next time.